Assistance allocation comes from a World Bank program aimed at strengthening food system resilience. The affected farmers haven't gotten any support at the moment. They have to source for their own funds to come back or to recover from this. So again, these are some of the risks that come to the aquaculture industry. And we're hoping that through our collaboration with our stakeholders, a lot of attention will be paid to the aquaculture industry. The September and October spillage by the Volta River Authority submerged and destroyed tilapia and other fish farms. About 896 cage farms were affected, translating into some 54.8 million cities, putting pressure on farmers struggling to rebuild. The Farmed Blue Food Fair, a key milestone for Product Awareness Task Force of the Blue Food Partnership Ghana Initiative, aims at sustainability of the aquaculture industry, especially after the dam spillage. The private sector can't work on the innovative solutions alone. I think that we need we need more knowledge sharing across sectors and, and also break silos in order to, to get to a point where we can more sustainably grow aquaculture and create.